Hello and welcome to another tutorial related custom skins in Arfactor 2 with GIMP. In this video I'd like to show how to do a basic paint of the car you choose and um, how to handle the regions. Um, also where to find the template for the car and how to export the DDS files. So first of all we need the so-called skin directory so we go to single player mode and we choose the car of our liking. Just click the car, choose the one and uh, press customize. So now we are entering the so-called material manager. If you are clicking on the, I would say, bucket fill tool and you see we have the material manager with its uh, values and parameters and also we have the uh, edit skin and we have a button called create skin folder. Just click it. You will see after a few seconds that there is uh, a folder, there has been a folder created. Um, uh, I will show where to find it with the Explorer and uh, it's called uh, ALT. So um, I would say it's the abbreviation for alternative. I don't know. So um, just go back to the Windows Explorer and on a default installation on of uh, Air Factor 2, you will find it on your local disk C, then in program files, um, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then go to R Factor 2, User Data, Player, and Settings. And there you will find a directory which is called um, similar to the car you have chosen, and uh, also with the, I think, the number you have chosen. So, um, you may have a lot of more uh, folders inside settings because normally here are stored uh, also the setups and uh, track specific data and so on. Um, doesn't matter at the moment. The JSON file is just a file where the uh, material manager stores its values and um, the file alt DDS is the file um, or is the skin itself and uh, here you see the regions file. So, um, the template for a car is found in Program Files, um, Steam, Steam Apps, and then you have to go to Workshop, and uh, you can go to Content, 36596O is the abbreviation, I think, for R Factor 2, and you can just search for the 488 GT3. So there we have two PSD files. Um, the first one is uh, for the car body and um, the second one is for the windows. Um, we will handle the windows in a second video, I think. Um, the first one, the car body, is uh, linked to GIMP on my computer. Um, so I'm just double clicking on it and uh, it will open in a GIMP. I've just opened GIMP in the background. Um, and keep the color profile. I don't know if it's an advantage if you convert it, but it, uh, I always kept it. So, um, now you see we have uh, just uh, a template with a, a red skin or red color. Um, we could just export this um, and use it within R Factor 2. Um, for an orientation, you can make the wireframe visible. And uh, here you see the bonnet of the car, the roof, the doors, and so on. Um, I will let it switch on for a moment. On the right hand side you have the uh, layer dialog and the last one or the bottom one is the basic paint of the car itself. Um, at the moment it's uh, layer 6 called. We can just um, rename it. So right click with your mouse and edit the layer attributes and say oh, basic paint for example. So uh, we could change the color, of course. So if you take the bucket fill tool over here and take a color, color like a, um, a darker yellow, I would say, and uh, you choose or you click on the basic paint layer, then just click in the image and we see we have just a yellow car or the yellow skin at the moment. So. Um, at second, I would like to show um, how the regions are working and so I'm just adding another layer. So right click somewhere in the layer dialog, say add layer mask, oh sorry, say add new layer and uh, 
I call it Stripe Zone. And uh, with the, I think it's the rec yeah, the select tool, sorry, um, we can just um, make sure the Stripe layer is uh, chosen and or selected and uh, we could just make a stripe across the car. So uh, needs another color. So let's choose, for example, with the bucket fill tool black and here we have the stripe. So first of all, we need to uh, make the wireframe invisible and uh, we need to export the skin now. So um, I will use an older method because I've always a bug in GIMP with, uh, with the expert or with the MUI export method. So just somewhere in the layer dialog, right click and say flatten image. So we have only one layer. Now go over to file, um, say export as, and now we have to choose the skin folder we have uh, created a few minutes, uh, a few moments ago. So go back to Steam apps, common, uh, R Factor True, user data, player, settings, and here we go. Uh, we will call it Alt T U T. Oh, sorry. Dot DDS. So another dialog will. Uh, open and we have to choose the BC3 DXT5 compression. We save just the selected layer because we have only one and we have to generate mipmaps. So say export and now we have a file exported or a skin. So uh, next press Control Z just to uh, revert the last change so the image is not flattened anymore and we will create a region file also. Um, we have to make the regions group uh, visible and we will use the black layer and for example the green one so the other ones can be switched off um the black layer in the regions file or in the regions group is used for the basic paint or for the car paint and i think it's the only layer which can be or which can show you the metallic flake uh, effect um the green one can be or can do a, uh, an effect, kind of fluorescent effect, I think, with a manual interaction in the JSON file. I don't want to show it because I can, can't do it by, by, by now, um, just for information. So first of all, we need a layer mask. And uh, so right click on the black region uh, layer and uh, say add layer mask. We need black full transparency and just add it. Um, the next thing is we need to select the basic paint layer, say, and uh, click right, say alpha to selection, go back to the layer mask of the black region layer and just fill it with white color. So um, this way. Um, next thing is we wanna uh, map the stripe to the green region layer so select the stripe layer right click alpha to selection uh, we go to the green layer of the region group uh, we need to add a layer mask to black full transparency also and uh, now just click with the bucket fill tool in the selection and we have a green stripe now we have to export the region file it's done the same way uh, somewhere in the uh, layer dialog right click say flatten image then go over to file say export as and we have just to add underscore region to our file name export it the dialog for compression or for exporting will open again we will use um, the selected options again and export it and we will press Control Z so that we have all the layers, uh, single layers again. Uh, in case of you will save the, the template or the, the file, you need to revert the last change because uh, you haven't uh, a chance to, to edit the layers when they are flattened. Um, go over to R Factor 2 and uh, we won't see this, the layer uh, or the, the skin, sorry. Uh, so, so just click reload skin 
and I think, yeah, there's the file name of ALT QT. So I think it's this way, right? Just reload as please reload the page means reload skin. And now we have the uh, also the, the material manager. It's not set in any way. So we could, um, yeah, uh, uh, align or map uh, materials to the layers um, of the region file. So the black layer is the car paint, the basic car paint. And we can say, okay, it's just paint or it's car paint. So it's a little bit shiny. Or we can say it's chrome. So it's a chrome-like uh, style with yellow. Um, yeah. Uh, we can go over here, have a uh, carbon matte paint and so on. So I would like to choose car paint and the stripe was mapped to the green region layer. So um, we could also choose a material, a different material for the stripe. So we see the uh, yellow car body is uh, shiny again, well, still shiny, and uh, the, um, the stripe is a kind of, of mud, I think. Or you can say it's chrome, just like this. So, um, yeah, that's it at the moment. So, um, hopefully, it helps you painting your car and gives you an idea about a, a car skin or the basic car skin and the regions, uh, basically. Um, I forgot to mention that we could have, of course, the metallic flake, flake strength, which is uh, also mapped to the black layer. So um, I will zoom it a little bit. And if you click on the square, um, you could choose yeah, a color for the metallic flake. And we could increase its strength. And I think then oh, it's not visible with the yellow maybe this way or this way here you can see it i think a little bit yellow is not the best color for metallic flake but uh you can see it also here on the flaps so okay yeah hopefully it uh, helps you a little bit uh, i will uh, discuss the how to paint windows in the next video and uh, yeah thanks for watching